Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, we found our good buddy Barry, who was kept prisoner in here. And we also found uh, a photo of the kidnapper and the recording they made the fake Alice uh, call from. So now we're pretty much convinced that, uh, or at least Alan's pretty much convinced, that uh, Hartman was gaslighting him, and that we're, uh... We were right the first time. Primordial darkness is waking up, people are dying, and everyone is in danger. And somehow Hartman wants to, uh, convince Alan that we're, uh, we're just crazy. I don't think we know why yet, though. Although I have my suspicions. Well, I mean, I know, but you should have your suspicions by now, let's be frank. <laughs> These were all the pages I had already. And more. Ooh, flickery. Alan, please. You're sliding back Shh, into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Oh, fuck. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Oh, man. Really, Wake. Come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! My God. Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. With your ability and mine. It's here. Of a smile. I've had to find a way out. I feel like I should mention a thing. And that's that, uh. I'm trying to remember if, uh, Hartman makes another appearance or not. But, uh, it may surprise you to know that, uh, Dr. Hartman has not been killed or taken. According to Control, he did survive the events of Alan Wake, as a human and everything. <laughs> but his story isn't over yet, and if you want to know more, you're going to have to look into, uh... Let's play Control, specifically the AWE DLC. Sorry about that. Yes, I just wanted to say that uh, Dr. Emil Hartman was also voiced by Mark Bloom, you know, actor Mark Bloom, who reprised the role for uh, audio logs in Control, but who uh, sadly uh, passed away of uh, COVID in 2020. So, you know, may he rest in peace. He made a fantastic villain. So I guess this must have been the revolver I had on me, but none of the extra ammo. But I did find a whole shitload of pages, didn't I? No, no, just the one. Okay. That's weird. Hartman watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Phosphorus, man. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Don't love that. I feel like I should mention explicitly that, uh... Remedy have said that they uh, make the last names of their protagonists something to do with the, uh, the main theme of their games. Oh. Oh! Oh, it's eating this place! And it's moving forward! Oh, it is moving forward! Fuck me!
do. Poltergeist, ton of them. Oh god. We're all dead. We are all dead. Get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Ah! What even? Oh! It's animating everything. Great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm starting to say, uh, Max Payne? The game isn't just about literally inflicting pain. It's about, you know, Max facing his trauma and all that. Uh, Alan Wake is, of course, about the darkness waking up. Uh, the protagonist of Quantum Break was a gentleman by the name of Jack Joyce, which was a pun off of the, uh, the game's uh, focus on making choices. There had been a generator and a work light on the balcony. I remember. And, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how Jesse Faden's last name works into the plot of Control, because I'm not sure what, what was fading. Oh, right, because I have the keys now. Fuck all of you! Burn! on again. I also want to check out this real, real quick, see if it's the same thing now or if they're being clever with me. It's the same one. Excellent. That means I don't have to take time for that. Haha. Oh god, what I wouldn't give for a flashlight. Even like one of those novelty ones with a crank on it? So that you never actually have to change the batteries? Oh! Let's not go in that side of the room. Oh my god. That had antlers on it. That was the deer head, I think. Yep. Well, it's there anyway. Hey, let's go this way. Nope, nope. Oh my god, it's just swimming through everything. You guys, I think we're gonna know about it when the darkness wakes up all the way. He left a damn painting out there. That would be ruined. <laughs> uh, no, I got nothing. Oh, yeah, I guess I just used the flare, huh? That used up all of the flare. And the bears. Oh, lovely! They're moving. I don't hate that. Mmm. Alright, I can turn this one on. This is either going to be Night Springs, or this used to be the, uh, the, the ad TV. Try turning the music all the way down, see if we can possibly hear that. Hmm, just a moment. Okay, let's try now. Oh wow, it totally fucking worked. Sometimes, even the simplest things prove impossible. Consider, you get in a car and leave a life behind. Easy? 
Not tonight. Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. You have no idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the trunk! Watch out for the trunk! My... My God! Mark? Oh fuck! Mirrors. All right, uh, I'm just gonna pause it right there so I can uh, the the ad TV I keep talking about. It was definitely in this section somewhere where the dark is attacking the lodge, and uh, in the original game there was a TV and I thought it came on by itself and started playing an ad for Energizer batteries, followed by an ad for a real car mo model, because I guess in the original, in addition to the batteries being branded, all the vehicles you could drive were real-world models, even though, you know, they weren't, like, obnoxiously labeled as such. You know, press B to drive, you know, the... I don't know the, what the fucking models were. I don't know why I started saying that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it was a car ad, a battery ad, and there might have been one other one, and... Uh, if you stand there and watch the whole thing until the you know the video clip ends, you unlock an achieve a secret achievement called product placement or something like that or corporate shill or something like that. Oh boy. But for some, magic is more than that. It's a way of working the secret machinery of reality itself. And more than one member of that Eldritch Brotherhood can be found in Night Springs. It's a twofer tonight, kids. Episode. What's in a name? We find an old man standing on an old rusting derelict bridge, leaning his bony frame against the cold steel. And though he looks idle, he is hard at work. His young apprentice attends to him, as good apprentices do. Yes, yes. Coming along nicely. Don't you think, boy? Yes, Magus. Sir, we've been getting some complaints. Are you defacing the bridge? Oh. No, I wouldn't do that. Sir, I can see the screwdriver in your hand and the scratches on the steel beams. You've been spotted doing this all over town. Yes. I have been very busy, but I'm no vandal officer. Exactly. What are you up to, sir? He's writing his name on the town. The youngster is correct. I'm writing my name, my whole name, the entire and complete description of my soul on the town. I'm almost done. Yeah? Well, all I see is an old man tagging public property. Oh, I should bow down to the wisdom of your years? Words have power, young man. Names and titles especially. Uh-huh. And uh, what's your name supposed to be? <laughs> Tell him, boy. Tell him while I finish the carving. Officer, it's... it's... Say my name, boy. Say it. It's Night Springs, officer. But isn't that... I mean, that's the name of the town, isn't it? 
Yes, it is from now on. Wait, wait where'd he go? Hey, where is he? Oh, officer. You know where he is, and what he is, don't you? I think you should get in your car and drive away, and remember which town you're serving. Your will be done, Magus. Ah, uh, yes. There are too many little towns to count, all of them with some little magic of their own. But some towns have more personality than others, and none more so than Night Springs. Can we make it three? No. Okay. Still, the double feature was neat. Uh, stop that. I don't like it. Yeah, the impression I got was uh, that the town of Night Springs is the horrible, horrible way it is because a mage infused his soul into it? Alright, I'm going to turn the uh, horrible music back up. Well, it's not horrible, it's just really unsettling. Huh. Okay. Hartman's mission. Here we go. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Shit. Oh, I don't like that. You know, the funny thing was, I thought the TV was in a hallway like this one. Oh! Hey, it's very angry at me. What am I even looking at? What are those? They look more solid than usual shadows, and I hate that. Oh, man. Oh! Oh boy. Alright. One more! Oh fuck. I should have stayed all the way on one side and then moved. Oh no, it's still there! I couldn't see it, but it's still there. Shit, it's in the room now. Uh, let's get out of here. Ow, ow! I'm here! Oh, man. I was gonna look up for the moon, but man! Hey, come on! You gotta get going! You're correct! Oh, there is a power-up over there. Power-up? No, there's a collectible over there. Oh yeah, I burned all the furniture. Oh, sort of. Here. Yeah, it must have been the TV then. I must have just remembered it wrong. I'm here, Barry! I mean, I like this, uh, ar this sculpture thing. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, the marker from Dead Space, but other than that... It's neat. Oh, it does have a plaque. Suspended by Lauren Miller from 1989. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just get the fuck out of here. I found the car, but the gate's locked. Oh. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there! Barry, I don't have a light. Take this, Al! If I know Barry... Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Fuck off! Uh oh. Got me with only five batteries! I really do need to run. Once they reach about that spot. Ah, hell! Okay. Let's 
run. These are just poltergeists, and they've got regenerating shadows on them. You be dead. Where is the other one? Where is your friend? That was a lot closer than I thought it would be. It's not much of a maze. I made it through easy. <laughs> I'm very much surprised that ball did not try to kill me. I'm gonna be honest. I have just had a thought about that. Screenshot, but I can't address it yet. I just thought I would say those words to uh, tantalize. Oh, thank God! This is now a free facility! None shall be held against their will. But, uh, the timer has gone. And I'm pretty sure I can hear the take-in in the distance, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, pause it. <clears throat> Having escaped Cauldron Lake Lodge, uh, Wake fights his way through the lodge grounds towards Barry and the waiting car. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again. When we, uh, deal with this hot nightmare. Till then, stay in the light. <laughs>